Hello and welcome to Mock Productions. You are here with me, Matthew, and we are back here with the theme decks. Now we're going to do one at a time. So I'm going to start with Empoleon with this first one. We'll, st we'll sort out the Garchomp deck next time. So we have the Empoleon theme deck right here. Very, very nice. We've got it's called Imperial Command. Very nice there. Imperial Penguin. I'm guessing that sort of means. Uh, shows all the lineup there, which we'll go through in a second. And a few of the Pokemon, which will be in there as well. Very, very nice. I love the artwork. Love that so much. Looks so good. And of course, we do get that nice uh, hollow Empoleon in there as well, which is really, really cool. So now comes the incredibly annoying task of having to try and open this without damaging the whole thing. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to have to... Uh, I might have to uh, stab it a few times to uh, get in, but we will, we will indeed get into this thing. Ooh. Aha! There we go. So it, once it starts, it's fine. Some of you might be like, "Well, aren't you damaging the cards?" No, don't be silly. There's a back to this thing. Yes, there is. Thank God. Um, oh no, the coin's the wrong way. There we go. So we're in. We're in. I like to keep these. I don't know why. I just do. <laughs> I really just don't know why, but I do. Anyway, let's crack on and check out what we have right here. Oh, hello there, Mr. Coin. Where are you? There you are. <gasps> oh, look at that coin. Wow, that is so cool. Woo, it's got Empoleon on it. So anyone who wants an Empoleon deck, boom, this is the thing for you. A nice Empoleon hollow right there. So we'll put that in the sleeve straight away. We've got the code for the deck, which I'll put over there. Then we have our nice little box, which have all the cards in. Ooh, what's this? <gasps> what is this thing? What's new in Pokemon card trading game? Ooh, this is new. Basically a little like information sheet. Yeah, it is. Ah, right. So the Alolan stuff, special rules for GX Pokemon. Prism cards, GX abilities, okay, so it goes through all of that, and then what's on the other side? Is it more stuff? Oh, well, okay, this is like a deck list for the whole thing. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Wow. Hold on, where's the, uh... <laughs> they haven't put in the gold cards. <laughs> what? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. There's prisms, there's rare hollows. They've got the full art trainers. And they've got the full art, um, what are they called? Pokemon. <laughs> That's a name. But there's no gold cards or rainbows. That's weird. That's very weird. I guess they don't really want to show them off. <laughs> um, then you also get this, this little cardboard thing right here. There we go. So you can cut that out. Or, you know, push them out and then use them, which is pretty cool. You also do get a play mat as well, which I, which uh, will show everything on it, um, which is pretty cool. Oh, look at that. It does have Empoleon on it. That's really cool. Oh, wow. That's nice. Very, very nice indeed. So it's got all the different things like it tells you where, where to put your cards and everything. I think it's a two-player mat, so that's ideal for anyone starting out. But uh, here is the little uh, deck box right here, the theme deck. I can pop all this out now. Loads of water energy for me. <laughs> So let's have a little look. We got a water energy, water energy, water energy, water energy. Are they serious? Oh, okay. Oh, course solar. Okay. Uh, Empoleon, water energy. Piplup, Sophocles, water energy. Weasel, how? Water energy. Aquapatch, nice. Manaphy, Piplup. Uh, yeah, Primplup, sorry. Uh, Professor Kakui, water energy. Alolan Sandslash, Nova, water energy. Floatzel, Piplup, water energy. A bomber snow, timer ball, water energy, another lily, nice, water energy, manaphy, a skateboard, a lot of cards from the flipping new set, water energy, a low and sand slash, course solar, water energy again, Pokemon fan club, another one, weasel, timer ball, floatzel, water energy, piplup, how, water energy, sophocles, snova, water energy, escape rope, a bomber snow, Lone Sand Slash, Rescue Stretcher, Water Energy, Pokemon Fan Club, Primplup, Water Energy, Alolan Sand Shrew, Ultra Ball, Water Energy, Snova, 
and a Kakui to finish off. Wow, so many cards. Flipping heck. I mean, it is a 60 card deck, so uh, yeah, that is pretty cool. So there's a lot of water energy. I think it said 20 water energy. Some people would say you don't need that. I mean, I would personally replace it with another three Aqua Patches. That's my personal opinion. There's a few cards in here which I would definitely think of getting rid of. Um, maybe trade that one for the uh, Vulpix. No, not Vulp. Yeah, it is Vulpix. Yeah. Is it Vulpix? Yeah, it is. Oh, I'm so dumb. Uh, <laughs> Kakui as well, very, quite useful. Snover and uh, a Bomber Snow from this set. Santrus from this set. Of course, the whole deck does have, have, um, revolve around the Piplup and Empoleon, so definitely keep them. Pokemon Fan Club draws the stuff. Rescue Stretcher, that's pretty cool. That one's good to draw cards. Escape Rope gets your Pokemon out of there. Sophocles gets rid of cards you don't need, and then obviously it does give you ammunition for uh, your Aqua Patch, so uh, that's pretty cool. Very, very nice. Very nice selection of cards there. Um, it's surprising how many cards from the set are actually in there, so uh, that's pretty cool. So not only do you get an awesome theme deck, which again, I have said this for a lot of them, it won't win you like a, a, a challenge, like a league challenge or you know a cup, you won't get first place, but you can use this as a sort of starting block and then build on from it. So it's definitely an ideal thing to start off with if you are new. 100% this is your best bet. It's got all the rules here, everything how to play, um, and it's just ideal. It really is ideal. And you get a pretty solid deck um, to, to verse against others. So that's pretty cool. Pretty nice indeed. Um, but yeah, that is about it in, in the little box. You also get the damage counters, what's new, everything like that. Of course, once you have got this, you can then obviously start like buying some packs, trading for stuff. You get a pretty awesome Empoleon coin right there, which is pretty sweet. Very, very nice. I like that like that a lot that is very cool indeed there we go that is what we had in that one right there i'm super super happy with that and there we go so we have the garchomp one coming up next um so make sure to stay tuned for that one and apart from that i will see you guys in the next video on the channel